Shell from uh, D-Box. Now, we're, we're, we've got a video game playing here, but it's a little bit different. Maybe you can tell our viewers a little bit about it. Absolutely. Actually, what we're doing right now is we're adding motion. We've been adding motion to uh, home theater products for the longest time, but now we're bringing motion in a real-time fashion on gaming. So right now I'm driving a Formula One on a circuit, the Nuremberg circuit, and right now I can feel the vibration of the engine as I've been sitting, as if I'd be sitting in a real car. So right now I'm sitting on three electrical engines that give me that realism of being in a race car. Now, I've just sat in the chair, and it is very, very, very realistic. It takes a little while to get used to the sensation. Um, so, if, if people want this for video gaming, can, can they play it? Does it happen in real time? Sure. At this stage right now, because we, uh, because we need to be very well connected with the game, we've connected with this particular game because it's an open source PC game. So today we're still not, we're not at the console level, but we are in a major discussion right now with the console maker because you know, motion's been around for quite a long time, but if, if the, you know, motion today, would, what comes to mind is maybe a theme park ride, and we're not a theme park ride, we're just very subtle and precise, very acute uh, to gaming. So, the, as far as the console makers are concerned, right now we're working with them to embed motion and with the software developers. So today we have two or three racing game software, and we also have flight simulation. So I could convert, change the scene, we'll put a router and change the pedal and you would feel as if you'd be in a plane. Now, we've seen this kind of technology before. Um, there's been lots of variations of it. What makes your product different from everything else? It's interesting that you mentioned this. The different technologies available today are whether a audio feed shaker or a hydraulic or pneumatic engine. What we bring to the table is an electrical engine that is very, very fast. It can go up to one one hundred of a second, and the increment is half the width of a hair. So we can do multiple layers at the same time, and the engine would give you both vibration and to do the motion at the same time. Nobody's got that. Now, at this price range. Now there's quite a noise coming over. Uh, people will be hearing this as we're talking. There's a lot of uh, uh, bangs and booms and so on coming from the room next door. Yes. But the chairs in the cinema actually move with the film. Maybe you can tell us about that. Actually, right now, we have home theater seats that have the same engine that you have on that game chair, except that the motion for the movie is scripted. So we have 15 people, all they do all day long is script motion for motion picture. We've done up to now about 750 movies. So if you have, for instance, Lord of the Ring movie at home, you just drop your DVD in your DVD player and we'll synchronize to it and send the motion when justified to really bring you more into the action. Um, and we're not just talking about uh, the chairs rumbling with no. the bass. No. They actually do move on, on, a, on a plane of field as well. There was, there was a scene that when I sat there where the car was reversing, yeah. and it actually felt like the chair was, was taking the motion with the car. Very interesting to mention this. Actually, we have three axes. So you can do pitch, roll, and heave. Heave can get you to have to feel as you free fall effect. Yeah. So we can raise the chair, get you down. We could, if you'd be, if there was a scene where you'd be sitting on a wave or you'd be in a, you could feel the wave motion. And artistically, we've been working on this for six years. So we have people that are very, very good in bringing you a sensation that is not a theme park ride, that really synchronizes up to the movie. And as a matter of fact, Hollywood has endorsed us recently. So we have Fox, Sony Picture, Disney Home Entertainment that says that this is as pervasive as it can get and as good as it can get not to infringe on the audiovisual that is already there. So it's just a third dimension. And some people may ask, well, um, will you get motion sickness from that? Because I, I did feel a little bit uneasy on my feet as soon as I got back up again. Is it a way to control the, the, the sensations? Absolutely. Right now we can set both level of vibration and amplitude of motion per seat. So I can set the level at 60%, 50%, 40%, and you would get you know, the feeling that you're getting 
and we can adapt it and personalize per chair. And usually what people, if people have a little bit of a sense of dizziness at the early stage, they usually, they usually start at lower level and then they add up, they add up, they add up. So what, now we could go up to a scale 1 to 10 and some of our customers are asking us for level 11. <laughs> So it's just a question of when you, you know, and obviously the challenge we have today is we're only showing you the part where there's action. Yeah. On the average, it's about 10 to 15 minutes of motion per movie. Yeah. So it could be at the early stage of the movie, right in the middle, a few subtle, you know, scenes. So, so it's, it's not all about motion throughout the movie. So it's not on all the time, it's only oh, for no. the main action scenes where you want to draw the viewer then. Interestingly enough, you know, action scene, also uh, animated movie. Yeah. The B Movie, uh, Polar Express, uh, The Incredible, Happy Feet, you know, all of those movies are very, very well suited for motion in a subtle way. Yeah. Yeah. People want this technology in their homes. Yes. Um, who, who do they get in touch with and, and how, how do they get this technology into their home? Actually, as far as the gaming and as far as the home theater products are concerned, we're today with Pulse Marketing, they're the, our distributor for the UK. We have distributors in different countries in Europe, and these guys obviously know all of our product lines. So if you have already, if you already have a seat, we can adapt it, retrofit it with a platform, or if you are considering to add some seats, you may want to have them with the actuators built in. This game chair comes like this, speaker, steering wheel, shift pedal, seat, that's a combination. The game is someone else, the video is someone else, and the speaker is someone else. So in other words, right now what we sell is this, mainly because we have the actuators. And as you see later on, as you'll be shooting camera shot on the actuator, you see how precise these guys can be. And the same engine are actually found in those home theater chairs. So, um, do you have a website where people can go and get further information if they want more Absolutely. on your company? Absolutely. Uh, www.d-box.com. Well, it's been great to speak to you, and thank you very Same much here, for sir. letting us see the, see the Same. products. Same here, and we appreciate the time you've given us.